There we go. Hey, everybody. Now we're on. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the, uh, what is it? <laughs> Silent. 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 New way to... Four minutes of us just, like, looking at gas ass. New way to win the uh, figures caption in the last five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. No. <laughs> uh, okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to USS Payette. <laughs> I'm again, Jim, Tim. Again, yeah. Uh, we're on the Nice Guys Network, uh, and we're gonna play some Star Trek Adventures by Modipius tonight. Uh, so, as oh yeah, yes, yeah, my last comment coming in. If you didn't get it, those were new dice. <laughs> <laughs> those are yeah. So I have brand new dice. Where'd they go? Are they out there? No, they're down here. That's I got fine. new dice. The ones I was showing off earlier. Super proud of them. Um, okay, so, uh, as per usual, uh, we are going to roll to see who is going to do the recap. So, uh, who had the buy? Who gets the buy? All right, so, Leah, is it high or low this week? It's going to be high. It's going to be high. All right, everyone. Seven. Ten. Nine. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ten it is. Uh, all right. Well, after a fun encounter with the Borg, um, <laughs> Sofek decided to go uh, back to Vulcan to kind of rebalance his mind, and because the rest of the senior staff don't apparently have homeworlds of their own, On they far. decided to join me, along with Ensign Beagle, mm -hmm. Yeah, for also some weird reason. Again, no I've one never else. been. It's on the list of the uh, most wanted places to go. To my the recap! Place. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> You're not even in the elevator, bagel. Yeah. <laughs> Upon uh, getting to Vulcan, we had a few days to for me to relax and for the rest of them to poke around museums and the like. At which point, a old classmate of mine showed up and requested our help with investigating a old Vulcan mind lord uh, complex that apparently had been discovered and was being used mm -hmm. by an unknown party. Um. So we went off to the complex. Uh, upon arriving, we discovered that it was in use, and we discovered a Romulan plot. Romulan uh, plots, all these Romulan plots. <laughs> observation post. Yep. Post has been said set it was up. a Romulan plot. Well, maybe you should have won the roll then. It's a fake. <laughs> it's real. Um. <laughs> We're really on the ball tonight. Eh, I'm sorry. Oh, something. <laughs> uh, as yeah, as we were investigating the complex, we ambushed two Romulan officers. For mm -hmm. once, we ambushed them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> captured them, and we're just investigating their operatives that they apparently had, including a Prell who is on the Vulcan Science Committee. Yes. Uh, we. Upon further investigation of the complex, we discovered it was being run by a Romulan Singularity power device, as well as suffering a large hangar with a few centuries-old uh, Vulcan ships that we promptly locked down to prevent any escape from. Yep. Uh, at that point, the elevator, which had lowered us to the level, was being recalled, and we all jumped back on there with Sofek narrowly missing a leg. No, he kept his leg. Whatever. You almost Near, lost narrowly a leg. losing. A That's leg. narrowly leg. losing a leg. Uh, okay. We also notified Starfleet Intelligence. Yes. Or we think we might have. Well, you sent yeah. a message through the device. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hoping that intelligence would receive it. Okay. So, uh, you do indeed send your message. As far as you know, you got onto the elevator. And does everyone have their determination? Mm -hmm. okay. We have two. Okay. So, well, we're going to maintain the same ones as last time. One is Prime Directive. No, I, I took that out, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, so on we're on vacation and, and... me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think it was a prime directive. Yeah, it was prime directive. Yeah, yeah, directive. We're on vacation. Yeah, prime directive, and you're on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna hang on to that. Still prime directive. Still on vacation. Um, the girl from Ipanema is playing on the elevator as we ascend. Oh my God! Is it? Oh, no. It is now. Ugh. Because he's humming it. Yeah, yeah, no. You literally, you've been fiddling with your comm badge and the comm badge is playing it. Oh my god, is he making the comm badge? <laughs> you know, we're probably going to be in a combat situation soon. 
Then it's probably best she gets it out now. I'm trying to calm my mind. It takes like 20 minutes between floors. So preparing now would be useless. We yeah, yeah. We should discuss our tactics. <laughs> uh, well, the okay, so yeah, tactics. Is there one one opening? <clears throat> yeah, there's one opening. I suggest that me and you flank either side of the opening, press up against it, and when whoever decides to walk in, we shoot him. Mm-hmm. Beagle included. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Beagle. I, I, I mean, my faces are set on stun. I'm not in vacation for murder. The, I, I'm concerned that we might be caught in crossfire if we're shooting. You aim high, I aim low. Very good. All right. Not the disruptor pistol. No, that's the left up there. I do also suggest that the captain might want to see what's going on. I mean, you'll have to actually ask him. He seems quite distracted with some old Earth song. Ah. Do you have any other requests? I have quite the repertoire. And Devin. Devin? Yeah. Doctor Devin. I am, I'm, I've never I'm, I'm, I'm handily drunk because all the candy that I was drinking were alcoholic or whatever. <laughs> Vulcans do not make alcoholic candy. They don't know that it's alcohol. It's alcoholic to Klingons. That was <laughs> <laughs> Physiology wise. Head um, cannon. Yeah. So, uh, uh, D- D- Devin, uh, maybe, um, maybe you want to think to see what's up there? Through solid rock. Yeah. Just. See if I yeah that's just, not the, just keep thinking about it. I am not aware of any natural phenomenon that prevent telepathy through solid rock, Commander. Yeah, I'm not gonna just no. That's not the way it works. If I remember correctly, my Starfleet history, Counselor Deanna Troy was able to do it over hundreds of thousands of kilometers between two ships. She could see the ship. But wasn't she only fifth as well? Yes, exactly. And she huh. was sensing for emotions, not thoughts. Yes, but we don't need thoughts. We need to know how many of a number of emotion is up there. Is there five angry or is there two angry? <laughs> I'm supposed to be on vacation. It would be very useful, sir. Are you going <laughs> to try? I will. <clears throat> I will, first of all, block out these three whatevers. Yeah. And then I. We're... It's a big space. It's a big space. It's a big space. I'll see. I'll see if I can reach out to sense if there's any emotions in the room that is directly in front of the uh, the exit for the elevator. I will uh, my mind to your room. Okay. <laughs> nice. Let's see if. See if I can do this. Typically, it's a um, a reason and uh, command. Yep. For sure. telepathy. Like sonar, like... Yeah. Well, I rolled two ones. Whoa! <laughs> so that's not usually one of the old Professor X. <laughs> <laughs> I hear everything. <laughs> I see. Oh my God! I think I smell everything. <laughs> <laughs> I taste the colors. <laughs> <laughs> Purple. <laughs> that's a good start. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's uh, terrifying for me. <laughs> no, he's just bombed us for the rest of the episode. Yeah. That, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to get shot. Okay, <laughs> uh, so you you can sense Beagle, uh, and you can sense two other minds. Beagle feels really stressed. Okay. Where did we leave him? Guarding At the, the entrance, guarding, guarding the vehicle. vehicle? Okay. Uh, okay, so I sense two other minds. Uh, because I think it'll be easier, I'm going to try and uh, reach into the surface thoughts to see what Beagle's thinking at the moment. So those are some basic surface thoughts. You know, I'm scared because there's long ones yelling at gunpoint type thing. Nothing complicated. Oh, am I so troubled? You look like you want to say you something, know, so back. But I can't. Because I don't know what you're sensing. That's true. Yes. No, no. It's good. It's good for my... Keep, <laughs> keep it up. Keep it the same. It's good for concentration. <laughs> I hope they don't see me. Okay. 
Uh, so... Sofek's hiding from the other two, it seems. Sofek is Sofek looking Sofek is looking Beagle. Right. Sofek. Get your mind out of my mind, Link. <laughs> He's wondering where we are. Hmm. I will, uh... See if I can read the surface thoughts of one of the two. I'm not gonna try both. Obviously, Beagle's hiding. Hmm. He left his post because he's wondering where we are. Is this internal Any... muttering or... No, internal. I'm saying this out loud. Did you say two others, Commander? Correct. Is that all you sense? At the moment, yeah. Well, Beagle makes three. Then oh. we are short one. Yes, our... Potentially our friend. Just a moment. Or one of the Romulans. We left two Romulans tied up and then there's my uh-huh. old schoolmate. But he's not scanning in that area. He's scanning in a different area right now with his brain. No, mm. he's going all the way up to Beagle who's at the entrance and top four. No, no. He was scanning Beagle's in the elevator entrance from the one that we came in. He, yeah. He's come. He's right at the front area. He, he's hiding elevator. in the entryway to the elevator. Your friend's downstairs. He's like doing some stuff. No, no, we're no. on the, we're on the we're We started on the, on the third floor. Yeah. We're going then there's up. the second floor, and then Beagle yeah. was up here. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And that's so what he's scanning. Beagle's in the entranceway on the second level. First level. First, first level. level. Sorry, first level. Yeah. And there's two other figures there. Within that entrance. Within that entranceway. And one of them's thinking, why have they not responded? Something is wrong. I'm assuming. I don't, I don't think I can differentiate between a Romulan or Vulcan thought pattern to a human Whoa. so obviously they think somebody else is there to respond I'm going to assume it's the two we have locked up the elevator stops at the second floor Second floor. you're back in where you were where the two hallways and the one going into the... um, Garpon and I are positioned on either side of the door okay so the door opens and you see be, um, you see your friend hello or greetings. Hello. Not Romulan. Uh, no, Ooh. I'm not. Were Were you calling us? <clears throat> no, I did not call the elevator. <coughs> I lean around the corner and I go, "Did you complete removing all the data crystals?" Yes. Perfect. I backpack it. Uh, what shall we do with the others? There appear to be two more individuals upstairs in the entryway to the elevator, and our f- Ensign Beagle is hiding from them. There's someone else in there. Well, uh, he brings you over if you want. He's like, we can check the monitors. Yes. It would give, it, give us information. Of, of Auntie? <laughs> I'm the Amo, but I'm yes. the Amo, yeah. sure. <laughs> uh, okay, so he brings you over, and yeah, he, hits, he hits a couple buttons. It's like, while you were gone, I had a moment to figure out some of the controls. Excellent. Uh, and you see the front entrance pop up, and you see two Romulans standing outside the elevator door, and you do not see Beagle. Hmm. He's very good at hiding. Wait, so the elevator door is open. Are we standing, like, in front of them? We're on the second, we're on the second floor. floor now. Oh, they're okay. on the first floor. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> yes, they're on the first floor at the okay. main entrance to the cavern. Right. The temple How system. How do we see them, though? Through the monitors on their monitoring Thank station. You. Yeah. Sorry, missed yeah. that. It's all good. They're also, those two are obvi- are wondering why, obviously, the people we have locked up have not responded. Yeah, at least one of them definitely is. Yeah. I'm going to ask the Vulcan friend, did you remember to set the phaser detonators? The disruptors? Because how much time do we have left in this duel? It would be running right now. Uh, no, I was waiting until I got on the elevator before I decided to set the detonator. Vulcan. Makes sense. Logical. Sometimes handy. Well, I would argue most times handy. Are we ready? Perhaps we should let them come to us. Set an ambush for them. But we don't know what floor they'll be exiting on, Captain. Uh, you see them step onto the elevator floor because you all got off the elevator. Yep. The door closed. Why not? Well, at this point, Dracon, I don't think we have much choice. You could set secondary explosives. No. <laughs> we could stop the elevator on the second floor and ambush them inside the elevator. Also, if we set an explosive on the elevator, we would have no way of getting out. Ah, uh, good crime never hurt anybody on vacation. What? <laughs> Alright. 
Yeah. Plus, we can always go down and fly one of those ships away. Okay. Um, should we stop the elevator? Yeah. Uh, yes? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Could you stop the elevator on the uh, second floor, please? I don't have enough technolo- techno- technical knowledge of that. We could always the hit the elevator call button. Yeah. We could always hit the elevator call button, and it will stop on the floor that we call it to. Well, oh. okay, so, so again, just so we're clear, there's a top floor where you all came in. Mm-hmm. There's a large elevator shaft. Yep. And then there's the second floor where you all are now. Mm-hmm. And then the lower floor. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're getting on at the top. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the elevator's already on its way down mm-hmm. to one of the two floors, either the one you're on or the one below. But if we can intercept it and hit the call button, that it will open on our floor. Right. So you're guarantee. You're basically saying you want to guarantee that it yeah. opens okay. up. So okay. we'll push that button. Um, I take out my phaser. And I have a sign. disruptor. Hmm. No. Well, I'm not gonna. What do you? What else am I gonna use? I can. You can set it to stun, right? Disruptors have no stun saving. Do you know how to use that? Yeah, you pull the trigger. No, all right. thing on the other end. <laughs> <laughs> I would appreciate it if the commander did not wave that in my stun. direction. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this just in case. Okay. <laughs> Don't know what else so, I'm gonna do. Uh, phaser to stun. Um, did Please. we get phasers? Why would we have phasers on vacation? <laughs> I did not bring a phaser. It's an archaeological one because dig. Because we're going to, a, yeah, a potentially dangerous archaeological site. But why would we have it in our room? Why would we take it from our ship? I like we have a tactical jeep. That one was our rental. You can <laughs> okay. rent them on me. Please stand to you. Side you of you having a phaser makes sense. The yeah. rest of them, not no. so much. So, that so I'm holding this rubber. What do you want me to hit them uh, with? Yeah. Mine yeah. bullets? Yes. Like, <laughs> I, 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 Can you do that? <laughs> no. I was not aware that was a that trait. Uh, maybe try to not in first. I can throw it at the legs. Uh, okay. Either side of the elevator door, please. Perhaps we don't need to shoot them. The Vulcan just kind of goes, they are almost here. <laughs> oh, please. In 20 minutes already? Yeah, right? Uh, our arguments are time dilated. So yeah. Try to take <laughs> I'm going to hide behind that crate. Okay. Let me know when things go I'm well. going to scoot up behind the curve Okay. On the side of the door. I'm on okay. the other side of the door. Okay, so you two are like pincering the door? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> do the fa- phasers have uh, the like overload stun thing, right? Yeah. So I'm yes. going to do that. Do the wide stun? Yeah. The wide beam stun? Yeah. Okay, so oh. just so you're aware. Yeah. From the position you're in right now, yes. a wide beam stun will likely hit Garkon and... If I, like, swing around when the door is open? Nope, but I'm just saying, oh, okay. from where you are right now... Okay. It's a bad idea. Yeah. Like, if you just turned and shot, then it would get them. If you swung into the doors, yeah. then you could probably yeah. do yeah. 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 I'm so, also going to point out that like, Garkon at this point is excited. My plan is once the door is open, stun. I'm going to step into the doorway and shoot. Okay. okay. I'm right. not going to try to hit these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sleep time. Yeah. Okay, so the doors. Okay, all right. Great. I'm gonna. Doors open. Step in. Floor two. Are they there? I'm going to steal initiative. Um, I'm going to retain initiative for free because that's my (laughs) shtick. One day I'll keep that threat. One day I'll keep that threat. Which is not fighting. Yeah. I'm, screw it. I'm blowing another one to steal son initiative. Of a Borg. Excuse my language. Did you say son of a Borg? <laughs> sure. Sure. We'll go yeah, with that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I don't think I have anything to do with that. You got disrupted. And you're we have no through. momentum at this point. Yeah. So. We Can got, I buy we got, momentum? We got to burn derp determination to do that. <laughs> we got to burn derp. <laughs> I'm gonna. Can I'm you gonna do that? Burn determination. No, I don't think you can use determination to steal initiative back. We already did our stick. <sighs> We tried it. Yep. We made him burn two. We made him burn two threads. So acceptable. Remember when you said you didn't I want to get you. shot? Yeah. I think you're about to get shot. Oh, hey All right. Him. So he steps. He steps out. Yeah. They're a little bit quicker than you were intending. Like you were yeah. kind of like expecting like a ha. Yeah. And the door opens and you see a foot like before the door is even finished opening. Yeah. Uh, and one steps out right behind the other. Okay. And they look like they're in a hurry. They've got their uh, disruptors drawn. And they look around, and you hear one of them say, Commander! And then they kind of, like, both pass you three. And then their peripheries kind of, like, do that freeze turn, and mm. who are you? Uh, uh, now it's your turn. Okay. 
Um, but the disruptor is pointed at you. Okay. And they are, if I fired my phaser at this point, I would be getting Hitting these, these guys. You'd hit both of them, okay. but you'd also possibly hit these two. Okay, May I so say something? And maybe use a towel? Do, yeah, do you want know. Okay. I just didn't want to step on it. <laughs> step out of turn here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so I'd like, I'm going to use my uh, diffused attention talent. It's a command trait where I'm going to try to stop us from resorting to violence. Um, and I'm going to do that by, um, oh, Romulans. Got to word this carefully. Uh, right when they, right before, as they say, I go, halt! We are, um, uh, we are Federation officers. This does not need to result in, in any, uh, any act that would cause a violation. Any further violations of, um, what's the, what's the pack called? Uh, the Romulan really Accord? Right now. No, Treaty there is of a... Algernon. Huh? The Treaty of Algernon. Thank you. The Treaty of Algernon. 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 Al- Eldorado? Alger. The Treaty of Eldorado. <laughs> well, that we, we can resolve this in a civilized, modern manner. If we put our weapons down... Look at you being diplomatic, Captain. I'm on vacation. I am, and I'm on vacation. <laughs> uh, Ron. Ooh. Yikers. I'm well, is that a you one are on a vacation. No. I, I, I am, I am on vacation. I'm is that a, re- a one? And it's a, a seven, seven, eleven, and a oh. twenty. Um, I yes, I am on vacation. That's okay, so what that. are you giving me this for? I'm gonna re-roll that twenty. Okay. Cause no. And I got a five. Uh, so that'll be three successes for my um, uh, control and command. Okay. Cause actually, a f- yeah, my command's four. So it's three successes. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> the, one, the one with this gun... The one with this gun kind of puts it down a little bit so it's not pointed at you anymore it's now kind of like down at the ground and puts his kind of like hand like this in front of the other one and they they turn look right at you well he turns and his other one keeps his gun focused kind of like near your feet you know Uh, and he looks towards where you were he's like federation doesn't normally hide like snakes well I guess they do always sneaking around pretending that they know what's going on I pipe up, we also have you surrounded, because they haven't seen me or him yet. They're yeah, looking the other way. True, true, yeah. <laughs> but we also have you surrounded, and you see a Klingon holding a combat The name. other one's kind of like, <laughs> what do I back do and forth. Yeah. I'm just like, we also got you surrounded. Says, <laughs> we, I'm we'll listen, the we'll listen. Look, I'm Commander Devin Zani of the USS Payette. We were, uh... Centurion Claudius. Nice! I might actually remember that one. Centurion, Centurion Claudius, we were simply here, we are, uh, we are all Starfleet officers, we are on vacation, we came across this archaeological site, and we didn't mean to be sneaking around, but apparently we've stumbled upon your activity, which is a clear treaty violation, we don't mean... Actually, it's not. We're Ooh. here on the invitation of the Science Council of the Vulcan High Command in order to look at how our two species separated. And he literally hands you a pad, and uh, here's the proof. So, in effect, uh, Commander, you are trespassing on a dig site. On a uh, and I would kindly ask you that you leave before you contaminate it any further. And we are, I guess, trespassing on a Vulcan dig site. Joint Vulcan Romulan dig site. Uh, then who might be your Vulcan contact? Who I believe you can talk to Tuprell in the Science Council High Command. Hmm. Well, um, we may just have to contact And he just kind of like steps off to the side. He says, if you'd be kind to leave now, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> uh, where's our Vulcan friend? He's behind us in the security room? Yeah. Uh, very well, we... Before leaving, we should recover our um, 
Vulcan guide. Hmm. Yes, that would be a good idea. So, in fact, would you please kindly go the other one? I take that to mean you do not remember his name. You know me. You know his name. Yes, unfortunately, Claud- I do. Claudius? Claudius? Claudius. 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 And you are Commander I Don't Care? I love Romulans. You know, they're just such kind and, and emotionally sensitive and you people. You are trespassing. That's nice. Go get to Prell. Bring him here. Uh, We're going to leave before this gets any worse. Are you just going to do it? You're just going to do it. I'm <laughs> just going. I've worked with him for too long. I unfortunately understand him. Yeah. I will go get my. Uh, I recommend retaining a copy of this. I will go get my Vulcan schoolmate. Yes. Actually, that's a good month. point. I would like a copy of this. Do you have a pad? I will transfer it right now. We have a tricorder. Hmm. Well, here's one. Then. File that away. Thank you. So, how long have you been on Vulcan? Oh, goodbye, Commander. It was pleasant meeting you. Still waiting for our... F- he walks out. Okay. Everybody on the elevator before everybody gets shot. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Good, good, good. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Elevator is going Talk out. to you soon, Claudius. I'm I'm sure. Goodbye. Um, just before the elevator clears the floor, I go. <laughs> Your friends are tied up in the hollow. <laughs> <laughs> no one have even told them. I, I, I wasn't say, gonna tell them. I didn't them. say what room. Your friends are tied up in the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your friends are tied up in the. <laughs> Actually, no. I would have said your friends Here's are in the, the hangar. Agency, <laughs> Whatever. As, as soon as we get tops. We locked down their ships, so as soon as we yeah. get topside, uh, we're gonna let's send the communicate directly to um, the Vulcan High Command and see if we can get somebody with authority on the phone. How big does a how big does a disruptor detonate again? No, huh, it's going <laughs> off, isn't it? Oh, it's setting a yeah. timer, isn't it? <laughs> it's very big. Yeah, so we might. And remember that the, the Vulcan was going to set them off once you got on the elevator. Yeah. So that opportunity. We're not on. blowing up the Romulans. The, I'm just wondering, I'm making sure we don't. Because I'm like, you kill them all and probably cave in the whole building. Mm-hmm. Wait, this stall. is actually a legitimate Romulan I, I'm expedition, always, which, which it probably is isn't. doubtful. I also lead over <laughs> yes, but I'm not getting in a firefight that close. Um, I yeah. do recommend we run immediately because I have a bag full of their information. Mm, oh yeah. Is, well, yeah, yeah. Also, so so quick. Um, how <laughs> important is cheap. the science council? Are there councils above the science council? The Vulcan High Command, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The so, Vulcan High Command oversees all activities and all other councils. Da. So, if we have um, a mall or the. We already know that um, Tiprel is compromised. We need to find out if this is this actual piece of paper. (laughs) Remember paper? I don't know. I come from from a dystopic nightmare. But (laughs) good point. We're on vacation. Any, we're on vacation. This is what humans describe as a guilt trip. (laughs) In yes, a little bit. In either case, we need to find out if this is legitimate or at very least tell the Vulcan High Command that they need to send a security team here to excise this well, Romulan. Most likely the paperwork is legitimate, considering that the person who wrote it is compromised. Yes. The data that we have in those crystals are enough to prove that she is compromised. Oh, to, yes. It's got years worth of data. We just need to protect it, yes. And we also need to hope that no one on the Vulcan High Command is compromised. Well, no. right, right now, getting that data it. out of here is more important than whatever was going on down there. So as soon as we get in the Jeep, we're driving. Jeep is a human vehicle from Terra. We took it here! <laughs> yeah, but we didn't... I thought you just called it a, like a motor thing. Anyways. We would also have 20 minutes head start, at least, as that is how long the elevator takes. And you reach the top. <laughs> In theory. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fast 20 minutes. <laughs> Beagle! Get the car! Where's the keys? We're running through the park. You hear, you hear, <laughs> Are you? Where are you? He's outside. Outside, outside, Captain. Yeah, but where? I'm already running at this point. You, okay, so yeah, as you, we're going to jog you, towards As you the... get outside, you just see, 
Beagle just and does like one of those really cool like spins, yeah, but does yeah. the back end, the ass swivels out yeah. and then parks like perfectly right in front of where you are. He's like, get in, I'm driving. Unfortunately, all of our water stash just tipped over and yeah. spilled out. Yeah. That, is like also not, that, that is yeah. not a good yeah. use of the tires, Venting Beagle. Oh, get in the... <laughs> Get in the he, jeep. He just kind of oh, guns man. it. He's like, yeah. You will wear out the transmission. <laughs> Do we have access to a sheep? No. Uh. One and only time I let you drive instead of me. You are in the rush. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh, Eagles where, aside, where are we going to hide this information? Hide it? I don't want to hide it. If Why? we go back to uh, Woken, they could be... Uh, <laughs> Confiscate, they could come and confiscate the information. Seven and sixteen. Correct. Yep. Yeah. They could attempt. They don't have to know that we have this. We can also simply make copies. No. We hide it. Oh. <laughs> we have a. We have a. We have a computer that's strong enough. We didn't. We weren't able to transmit it to the to the Starfleet because there was too much. Yeah. 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 That being said, I'm pretty sure we could hire a freighter within the next 12 hours to get us off. We do have your runabout. We have a shuttle that we can get on that runabout and get to our ship. Our ship 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 is 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 back in the back. So your ship is like weeks away. But we're not that far away from Earth. No, you're not. Your runabout can make it to Earth within a day. Probably less. I'm sure someone will correct me on it, but we're going to say within a day. All right. Because it can do like warp five. You could. Also, I would advise that we not simply up and leave Vulcan, as that would give the Romulans free reign to do whatever here. Mm. Can we store this information in the runabouts databanks? We could upload it. Then we would have a copy of it. We could give the rest of it to the Vulcan High Command. Although we have to find someone trustworthy on the Vulcan High Command. To Prell. To, thank you. To Prell. Do you, do you have anybody? <laughs> no. Do you Prell know is on Science Council. This is... Um, I, to lock. To lock. I rely on you. I'm <laughs> not a mind reader, sir. That's your thing. Okay. okay. I'm going to start doing this a little bit more. When we do more role play stuff, you're each going to get momentum for role playing, like inspiration, because I figure, why not, right? <laughs> So we don't roll enough sometimes to be able to give you <laughs> momentum, so I'm just going to start treating them like Benny's. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> Fair enough? Because yeah. right? yeah. you guys all deserve it much. So. Uh, also, Captain, if we get all the information onto our shuttle, we can then transmit it. I like this plan. We could also Broadband. send Benson Beagle the with the runabout to system. Earth. Two people were talking. I only got half of that. As I was saying, Commander, we could also send Ensign Beagle with the runabout to Earth with the information as well, and have them de- deliver it directly to Starfleet Command. How do you feel about flying the shuttle? Yeah. It would also get the runabout out of Vulcan orbit in case it is captured or boarded. Wait, what? This is a priority one mission, Ensign. Top secret. I can do it, sirs. And he gets, like, super serious, even though he's, like... He's just, and he's one-handing it, too, with the arm. Like he's, yeah, he's Please full have on two like, hands on the wheel. He's full on, oh, sorry. We are also, also close enough to Earth that maybe Starfleet could divert a full starship to escort Ensign Beagle to make sure nothing untowards happens well, as as to the roundabout. As long as he keeps the dampers on, it should be fine. Uh, there's also the issue with potentially cloaked vessels between here and Earth. Mm. I am more That's concerned about the pilot. I'm on vacation. Mm. The dampers was a low ball. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts. Yeah, so does my head. <laughs> okay. That was months ago. You're fine. Concussions can last decades. Talk to me. So? Ensign, make our way to the uh, shuttle. Um, wow, my brain just shut launch off. Bay? Thank you. So we make our way to the launch bay. <laughs> yes, sir. So he just rips... He's like tearing it up. Um, you guys get off kind of like the off road and onto the main strips, mm-hmm. and and he just heads right to where you need to be. I would accre- request Ensign that you obey traffic laws now that we're back in the city. Mm, sorry, sir. <laughs> hey, do you want to drive now? Sometimes the laws are only suggestions. <laughs> yes, <What>? sir. <laughs> We're on vacation. I do works. not believe reading that paragraph in Starfleet <laughs> no, that's Operations. Not how it works. 
No, he he he's like he's like I'm gonna listen to the end cake. I lean over <laughs> and I give the captain well, a high five for that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping like... Ensign Beagle understands a joke. Yeah, yeah. He's not he's not that. I see Gurkhan high five you. I guess that I just wish this would reinforce my point. <laughs> <laughs> Up top, down low, side side, yo, bro. And I'm, I'm like, wow. That's some form what? of combat ritual. Really? I don't get it. <laughs> Really? Apparently we've got, we've got a handshake there. We do, and I still don't understand it. That's fine. But you do it because you think it's like a, some sort of ritual. I think for it's like a combat ritual. Yeah. Like, that's like, we, if we do it correctly every time, it's hand-eye coordination for knife fights. Constant victorious, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like a like a physical kapla. But I believe I'm winning every time we do it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I'm the captain every time. And I'm just a fly boy over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do it, like, yes. Uh, all right, so three of you have in- motiva- uh, momentum. Would you like to use anything before the end of the scene? Um, I'd like to know how long it's going to take us to upload that, um, all that data into the runabout. Oh, <clears throat> it'll take hours. Okay. Yeah, that much data will take hours. Because um, uh, essentially you didn't... So you didn't download it from no. anything. What you did is you literally just pulled the chips. You pulled so, the hard drives out. Yeah. So now what you've got to do is you've got to find a way to plug the hard drives in, make them compatible, and then and then transfer the data, right? Well, at this yeah. point, I'm going to just plug it all into the ship and start the... If I'm going to do it, I'm going yeah. to start, start the transfer and say, Beagle, go. Yeah. yeah it'll, it'll take some time. Um, somebody vibrating? Sorry. That's okay. He's so excited. Uh, He's I, do we need to go to a break or is it just... No, like, no. I think somebody was at my front door and pushing the wrong button. Okay. Sorry. Um, we have like... No. The obviously not radio, but like radio, right? Like I want to monitor communication transmissions to see if anybody's looking for us. Uh, if we've tripped anything, like... Are you doing that from where you are or you got to be on the ship for that? I'm saying on the way to the ship, oh, is there okay. anything else you want to spend your momentum on before it goes into the pool? Um, no. No. I'm good. Well, I'm going to use it. Okay. To kind of do some research-ish on that lady, um... To Prell? To Prell. Okay. I, I'm, she, she's part of the High Council, uh, the Science, Science council. council. Yeah. So I can figure out, I want to figure out when she became a member of the Council, what she was doing before that, and try to see if I can find any holes in that that could prove either she's Romulan or how she, you know, a little bit of investigation... Because it's going to take us a few minutes to get there. Yeah. I'm reading her wiki page. Yeah, okay. Um, so, Tuprell is uh, a renowned member of the Science Council. She's been on it for nearly 70 years. Um, and she's a, she's a famous historian on Vulcan itself. Um, uh, she's da- documented multiple sort of like uh, pre uh, savic Seric, um, pre Seric uh, sites around the around the planet, um, and has and has been like instrumental in discovering like the history of the Mind Lords and some of the the different aspects of Vulcan life. Uh, a lot of which had been kind of like not not lost so much as almost like well, it's not logical to to worry about that. Like we we, we want to know a little bit, but they kind of reasoned they reasoned a way to forget about it. Right, so, and she kind of proved the the disadvantage in the logic of that. Mm-hmm. So she she readjusted sort of the culture of the society. Um, in the last few years, she's made some really sort of radical suggestions and some very kind of uh, controversial ones. Um, uh, there was uh, there you do find like a couple uh, news bulletins where it discusses her. Uh, uh, accusations against her for uh, leaking information to other places but it doesn't go into any detail it looks like a lot of it has been kind of redacted um, and and you don't really find anything kind of like like the stuff that is out there makes it look very circumstantial yeah. and and not rumor just not there's not enough proof to like logically think otherwise mm-hmm. right um, but illogically, we can think anything we want to think. You betcha. So, I... And then no no mention of family or anything? Nope. Okay. I think we can manage. Um, 
Yes, Black Bane with you. Anyways. Well, no. So, uh, um, okay. To find anything more, that's going to require a roll. Uh, investigation? I don't know. Yeah, that'd be like an investigation. So, so like it'd be like reason. a reason and... A no, this one would be insight because you're like diving in, right? Okay, insight and... Can I give him my knowledge? Um, okay. But I still want a roll so you can use that because he's already... Okay. This yeah. way we can try and generate more. Bet. Okay. So I'm going to roll three dice. Yeah, and let's say reason and... Can do oh, you said insight. Oh, sorry, insight and let's go insight and science. Okay, so that's thirteen or lower. History is a science. Uh, oh, three, wow. three, two, three successes. That's awesome. Okay. On the button. I like to research. Yeah. In my spare time when I'm not knife fighting. You can like be doing this jeep that's just like bouncing yeah. up and, and down. Try for it. Just like, hey, did you know that in? Yeah. 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 Uh, so about 50 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, she lost her family due to a failed colony um, near the Romulan neutral zone. Hmm. I point that out to you and you. And I'm like, potentially any children she may have had may be being held hostage by the Romulans. That's complete conjecture. It was pre-Treaty um, pre of Algernon. A long time ago, yeah. So I that they could be using that time, as so. potential yeah. leverage against her, mm. Mm. which means that this form could be completely legitimate in its manufacture, but not legitimate in its. Um, it, it was signed under duress. Yes, maybe. Yeah. Um, and you're gonna get one momentum back, by the way, because you only need two. And um, uh, when you hit the next kind of buttons. Classified pops up on your tricorder. I'm like, hmm. Give it here. <laughs> Let's see if I wrote it down. No? Oh. Beagle's still driving. Okay. Let's see if my command code might work. Mm, maybe not, because if it's on the Vulcan database. Maybe. Maybe not. I would like to see if my command code works. I also point out oh, this information to self. Yes. Look at this. this. Awesome. <laughs> Okay. So I punch in alpha 160, alpha beta 2. Okay. Classified. Hand it back to tricorder. I hand it nope. to Sofak. And you go, Sofak, what do you make of this? I believe this means files have been classified. <laughs> I was waiting for that. One. I go, I go. Hit the, hit the back arrow. Doop. It goes to the last page. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's an iPhone <laughs> browser. Yeah, this this does make your query more logical. Yeah. <laughs> it appears to be classified. <laughs> hey, it, uh, it is possible that some of her family were captured. Another alternative is, in fact, that Tuprel was on the colony and was replaced. And records were oh, modified yeah. after the fact to show that she was never at the colony. So nonetheless, we all agree to probe the wrong one. It is a possible outcome, yes. We're doing the right thing. As far as we know. We have had no evidence to the contrary. Uh, I'm going to start... I'm going to pull my backpack over and look at all the stuff that was pulled out and make sure it's actually in the hard drives and not just a bag full of rocks. Or <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> Like, well, the guy who handed him to you happens to be the in the vehicle. Totally. I, was, so. I was so tempted to do that, yeah. but I realized that the way I introduced you into the mystery, if I had done that, there'd be no reason for this guy to go out and bring you here. So I was like, uh, oh, so you're a spy who brought yeah. us in if I had, if for was, some reason? So if I had changed my mind and used Nevin, it would have mm. been perfect reasoning, right? Perfect. To yeah. Yeah. But anyways, so yeah. no, they're the actual hard drive. Nevin just uses them because... I just want to mess with you. Right? Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> so, uh, so I have like a, a focus in Romulan tactics. Is there a way that we can tell if she's Romulan? To Prel? Yeah. Uh, so their their physiology has changed enough that, mm -hmm. that a, a, a detailed medical scan okay. would do it. But it would require a detailed medical scan. Because yeah. a, a brief like one with your normal tricorder 
wouldn't be enough to tell the difference between the two. It's only been a few thousand years, not like the super long time. So yeah. the species have changed, but they haven't evolved that much. Right. And if it was dissectable tricorders, it'd be make their infiltration a lot harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Don't think we can trick her into sitting in a med bay. Cut her and get some blood. Yeah. Yeah. I would like I'm, to recommend I'm, we leave Gurkhan out of any decision making I'm process. I'm at this point, sir. I'm still eating that candy. Stop eating the Jeez, candy. Water. Huh? Oh, the water's all spilt out because of the drift. He's like, no. -uh. And he hands you a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> I just nail it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, his, so although his, I would like to remind you, Gurkhan, that part of the orientation on upon arriving Vulcan was hydration. Oh. It was, too. <laughs> you did make a point of saying that. Yeah. Although his method may be lacking in subtlety, the idea isn't out of the question. If we can get a DNA sample somehow. You're what? a charming man, Captain. What do you ask okay, about Okay, so dinner? you guys pull up to the to the shuttle bay, <clears throat> the docking port, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and they kind of like, they flag you down and stop you. He's like, there's no way you're letting that Jeep come on. And Beagle's like, no, no, we got to get to our... <laughs> it's all right, Ensign. Oh, we can walk it from here. I know, but the wheels... I get it. Okay. <laughs> he gets out, he hits a couple buttons, and the Jeep kind of turns around after you've unloaded and auto drives back to where it needs to be. That's so cool. <laughs> Ensign, we are not stealing an Evo. I, I sent it back, sir. Very good. <laughs> all right. We make our way to our shuttle. Okay. Uh, you, no problems. Cool. So, I just plug, I just have everything, <laughs> plugging it in piece by piece, and I'm like... We're gonna... inside the shuttle, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm literally just going click cable. Just a long cable with USB cables. Click, click, click. See Beagle sit down in the pilot seat. He's like, uh, oh, uh, what's the name of our... What's the name of this our shuttle? Right? Yeah. It's not the, well, the first one was the USS Shalish. No USS, just... Shuttlecraft, and then oh, but, that yeah. was our that was our um our, not a runabout our what are they called Danube. Danube. Yeah, this Danube is a, class. Oh, okay. So this is our this is our next Danube class. So you're right. There is a USS. Yeah. So it's the, the first one was the Salish, but I'm pretty sure that one's gone. Yeah. Pretty sure you crashed into an asteroid. <laughs> no, that was a Type One shuttle. It was destroyed when we pretty much blew up our last ship. This one's probably on loan from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, because our ship doesn't have. Oh, this, ship? this ship's got massive shuttle bays. In any way, in, a, in either case, what do we even want to name it? Well, if it's on loan, it's a USS Test Test. <laughs> testing, testing. No. <laughs> like, oh, well, it's kind of awesome, but no. Um, US Algonquin? I don't know. Algonquin? Sure. USS Al... Yeah? Sure. Yeah. Can you get a pencil? Okay, the USS Algonquin. Okay, so... Uh, uh, um... Beagle sits down. He's like, uh, USS Algonquin to Vulcan docking command. Request permission for a flight path hole out. And they start chattering back and forth in the background. Um, I'm going to be outside. Just kind of leaning up against the hull and keeping an eye out. Well, we can we can leave Beagle. Do you want to stay here and, and work on getting the data uploaded? I'm literally up under a pile of equipment saying, that was the plan. It's like, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. I arms deep in the ship trying to hook up these runs. I'm like, no, I'll leave. You want to finish this, Captain? They call him Captain again. Guess I'm not on vacation anymore. On vacation, the term Captain is used derogatorily. Just whatever. <laughs> Kirkon. So sh should the rest of us maybe go see Tuprel? Maybe we could get an audience. Somebody use the bathroom, get a comb. I don't know. We'll figure this out. We could at least approach her regarding the Romulan dig. Oh yes, and the sheep we have. Let's see if yeah, let's see if we can get uh, a meeting with her. So Talak offers to go back with uh, Beagle. Yep. Because then there's somebody to explain all the information and the scenario, along with somebody to deliver it. Perfect. So there's two elements of what you have going on. You've got someone working with the Science Council mm -hmm. um, who can deny and or corroborate the, the stories, claims, right? Um, and and Beagle who can provide the information. Um, 
Well, I mean, at that point, Talat can... He knows... Oh, never mind. We do want to keep a copy of the information on ourselves as well. So you're going to keep the actual physical hard drives and just upload all the information? I'm going to upload all the information to the shuttle and keep the physical hard drives. I'm going to have a backpack full of deadly information. Awesome. me at all times. Well, we've got a couple of hours before they can even take off. We might as well go see if we can at least authenticate this permit. So you hear a on the on the shuttle door. Oh, I'm outside keeping watch. Oh, okay. You yeah. see, you see uh, four Ron, uh, Ron, four Vulcan uh, security guards walking up to you. Get to you, people outside. And I'll step forward. Hello. Greetings. Um, I require you and your staff to come with me, please. Uh, on what grounds? We're on vacation. Uh, that's, that's, uh, uh, I think the human word is nice. Um, however, uh, you have been requested by, uh, you've been requested by science, sorry, my stutter's oh, really bad okay. tonight. You've been requested by science leader to Prel, uh, and your ship is now on lockdown. Oh. I need all of you to come with me right now, please. Oh, but we didn't, and I, I have my comm badge open. Yeah, so you <laughs> all hear that. This. Uh, we, you just went for a drive today. We're all, we're a little you're, you're well, musty. Hide the hint, stuff. I'm not. At, I'm not at liberties first. to. I'm not liberties to discuss. I just need you, you just to come with me now, please. Go back to our, our quarters real quick. No, that now I need you to come with all us right, now. All right, okay, very good. You know, let's. I will go inside and get uh, the group. He just kind of like holds his gun. He says, "No, I need you to stay here and use your communicator to tell them to come out." Okay, all right. No need for violence. Uh, is it called Zanny? Zanny here. Uh, we are um, uh, being told to go to Tatel. And this gentleman has a gun on me outside. So, it is serious. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's come soon. And uh, we'll be out in a second. That's where Did we're going to go to our break. Okay. So, we'll be back in 10 minutes and we'll see you then.
<laughs> and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Uh, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to USS Payette. Uh, we're on Vulcan and uh, currently under arrest. No, we're being arrested. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> Subtle difference. So you found a Romulan base, uh, like an observation base, and you have uh, you've been you headed back to your ship after taking all the data from the from the base. Uh, and once you get back to your your uh, runabout. Uh, you started uploading the information, and Beagle and Talak are going to be taking off in order to go uh, back to Earth to let let Starfleet know what's going on so you don't have to send anything through the uh, channels, correct? That was the plan. Okay. And uh, as, you're, as you're beginning the upload into the ship's computers, uh, you uh, got about half hour in, I'd say. And at that point, uh, some Vulcan guards came out to the runabout and requested that you come with them to meet with Duprell. Forcefully, but basically. I'm also going to point out to the captain. Captain, it's kind of unique that the Science Council has control over security in this sector. Yes, I understand the um, oddness of the situation. So, this... while we're so the Vulcan, the Vulcan side, looks right? at you and yeah. says, I'd like the four of you to come with us, please. Uh, good, yes, I understand this. Um, however, I'd like to see some kind of authorization. He hands you a pad. Thank you. And I, I look at it. It's fully like, fully authorized. Oh, hell. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> While this is happening, I'm going to, uh, you're calling, hide it, hide all of it. Hide and I just, I, your English is second language. Please, give me some time. Uh, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> yes, yes. One, two, three, four, the, beagle, hide. The, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, they yes. are seizing the vessel, Captain, so where yes. shall I hide this? Not, uh, I don't know, in the uh, bulkhead. Just put it somewhere that's yes. hard to find. So your security team um, answers to Science Council. We're just following orders, uh, uh, Commander. No, yes, uh, yes, it all. We need you to come with us now, and mm. if you don't come willingly, it's going to get unfortunate. Uh, uh, yes, I understand this. We would request um, Federation Ambassador. I will make sure that one is brought. Uh, very good. I will retrieve my team. I'll lock in. During the time she's doing that, I'm taking... I'm jamming it as far into the one bulkhead while it's still uploading yeah. as I can and phaser welding it <laughs> shut. <laughs> okay. okay. Shh, 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 shh. Well, no one's making a sound but the yeah. phaser. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> and then I'm going to try to see while this is happening I'm going to put I'll go this is the biggest sacrifice for the Federation ever made. I'm going to take a bat left and weld it to that section as if it's a display. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, before you open the door, Beagle grabs to lock, runs to the transporter pad, hits a couple buttons, and transports out. Beagle's gone too. He, well, we heard over the oh, yeah. over the comm yeah, yeah, that yeah. he said the four of you, and I was that's why I was like Beagle hide, and Beagle's awesome because he's like uh, doing his thing, well trained. Yeah. I'm then gonna fill my bag with random gear from the ship, okay, and put that back on, okay, and then. And the door again now opens, um, and you hear the ship go, computer override. And the door opens, and the, the Vulcan security officers walk in. Uh, really, right now, please. Yes. Um, yes, we're we, coming. We've been asked to go. Let's go. Yes. I yep. take a big yawn, and I stumble out. Okay, one of, them, one of them, why does it smell like welding in here? <laughs> That's uh, the Klingon. Just don't. It just smell like welding? <laughs> Uh, it's been a rough day. Your food doesn't sit with me. And as you're as you're walking out, one of them looks at the other and says, "Why would art be in a, a perfectly good craft?" You have obviously not heard of the USS. No, no they Pilot. say that quietly. Oh, like, okay, that because that's I'd be like, you obviously yeah. have not heard of our ship. <laughs> okay, they bring you into a holding cell and uh, leave you in there for about an hour. See. It's, when they put us in the cellars, I'm sorry, are we under arrest? What have we done? It's, let me rephrase it. It's not so much a cell as it is a waiting room oh, with a okay. very locked door. Yeah, right, right. We are your guests. 
involuntarily. Yeah. Is there a place okay. for me to lay down? No, just just uh, five seats. You know, probably those terrible, like, perfectly uh, yeah. crappy Vulcan seats. So I have requested Federation of Ambassadors, but... Excellent. Uh, maybe a Klingon one would be useful as well. Just let me ask them the room. When they begin to question me, they will regret it. <laughs> Excellent. I have no doubt of that. It's not the first people that have questioned me. I have three scars proving that I'm unquestionable. <laughs> so a a um a Tellerate walks in. Oh god. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Do I recognize him? Uh give me a reason and command. Uh, yes, uh, my command, my reason is 11, my command is 4, and that's a 10 of 13, so that's two successes. Okay. Uh, you do, uh, you recognize him as, uh, gosh, Grax. Ambassador Grax, nice to see you again. Sort of. I can't say the same for you. Uh, go figure. What are, what, what, what are they saying happened this time? They haven't told me anything. They just said that I was requested by some Federation officers who had disobeyed historical law. I don't know. I was at dinner. They interrupted me. Damn Vulcans. No sense of timing. I agree with no you there. Offense. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still laying on the floor, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just go, all right, well, here's the short version. And I repeat what ha- has happened. To us, everything. I'm you, not. You share all the information about Tuprel and everything. Uh, no, just where we were. Okay. We found by accident. We thought we were. We was. <laughs> we're good. Okay. What are you driving around the dunes? We were driving around. Uh, I'm gonna leave out Tuprel and Beagle. Mm. And to the to, 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 to No, I'm gonna tell them about the wrong ones. To lock. Claudius. To lock. The other one. My classmate. Oh. No, we'll tell him. We'll say that during our our investigation that we were handed the pad by Tuprel and that. To lock. God damn it. Tuprel's the baddie. Yeah. <laughs> we were handed the pad by Claudius that said they were allowed to be there okay. from Tuprel. Okay. Leave out to lock. Okay. Leave out Beagle. Leave out the download. Leave out the download into the shuttle for sure. Leave out the. But we will say because we actually got the information from the original information about Tapro from a um, tricorder interface. Yeah. So. So what did you find then? Sofek. We discovered a Romulan, which appeared to be monitoring post, and there were communication records between the Romulans and Tapro. And. Do you know what they were? Not at the moment. But we were on our way back to, uh, well, essentially tell somebody about this since. And then we were arrested at our shuttle before we were able to send a communique. All right. So, what would you like me to do then? Uh, I must not be arrested. He's not, he's not saying that, like, like he's, it's, it's more of like how. Uh, how can so, I fix this situation? Yeah, so he's like, no, let's, he's a I'll, I'll right. rephrase. Yeah, he's more like, how can I, how can I assist? Not mm-hmm. how, what, like, what? He just always sounds angry angry because Tellerite. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, would, would request that you prevent them from searching our ship at any cost. I'll do what I can. Are you able to get a um, official, uh, like a, a Starfleet ship here to help investigators, or at least send a communicator? Starfleet Intelligence? We tried. We're not sure. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. It should also be quite easy to keep them off of our ship as it is Starfleet property. Exactly. Is it in a Starfleet hangar? Or is it in a Vulcan hangar? It's a Vulcan yeah, hangar. Yeah, it's kind of like... Are we able to have it moved <laughs> to the Vulcan? I, I, would, I, would say that, I would say that it would be like a... Mm, okay. In sure. theory, in theory, there shouldn't need to be a Starfleet hangar on yeah. Vulcan, right? So. Yeah. Vulcan and Starfleet as well. Yeah. Yeah, as long as we can keep him off the ship. Anything else? If you could get us out of this room so I can go back on vacation, that would be lovely. I'm not sure about that, but I'll see what I can do. All right. And 
Anybody else got any bright ideas? Yeah, sit up. You might be on vacation, but you're in shit, so make it look good, all right? I can do that. Commander. I still stay on the floor, but I just keep my thumbs up. <laughs> Beta vids, and he walks out. <laughs> Okay. Uh, another hour goes by. Turn the hour off. <sighs> so face just like, might as well meditate. How's Gurkhan doing? I'm coming off my drunk. <laughs> so I'm oh slightly hungover. Yeah. I'm I'm wandering. I'm pacing. I'm getting agitated. Okay. At this point, I will. Unless, sorry, were you gonna say something? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna go to the door. And is there like a buzzer or something? Just a. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. T -t -t -t. I'm just gonna start knocking on the door. Just eventually a slot opens. Well, that's medieval. Um, can we get some food or water for our Gurkhan? He's a little hungover, if you even know what that is. He's sick. Yes. I yell. Slides back. No candy! <laughs> <laughs> um, within about three minutes, something beams in on the table. It's a basic food and water. I drink the water. I leave the food alone. It's all like, like I know, but I'm, I can't, I can't, food I can't stomach right. it right now because I'm like, it's all uh, the, like, TOS it's Vulcan fruit and vegetables, and like, it's actually good for you. Yeah. But I'm at the point where food is just disgusting me. Okay, I chug whatever the drink is. It's green. Yeah, it's it's green water. I'm gonna say it tastes very vegetable-y. All right, all right. It'd be very Vulcan, so it's massive okay, amounts of geez. vitamin C. So, just at the point where you're all getting like, okay, this is getting ridiculous. Mm. Someone opens the door and says, uh, Tuprell is ready for you. Come with us, please. Finally. Oh, what if I'm not ready for Tuprell? Gurkhan, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> we could always leave you here. Well, no. no. I, mean, just no. I don't think we had choice. All right, let's just go. Okay, so uh, they lead you up, uh, up in another elevator, but they lead you up into... Uh, an office in one of the towers. It's a kid in the and elevator. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the door opens, and you're on one of those like top floor offices. Uh, and you see a Vulcan sitting at a desk. Ah, oh, come in, come in. Uh, that'll be I all. Enter. And and the uh, kind of points towards the door and the. And uh, the security officers go back in the elevator, and the door closes. You must be Chaprell. She says, I, you, I am so sorry. I apologize uh, for for your treatment so far. Uh, it's all right. Going no, it's, the it's unacceptable. Um, I have learned in dealing with humans that while... Uh, Well, things can be misconstrued. Often there is an overreaction, and and I believe this has been the case in that in that situation. So, on behalf of the uh, the Vulcan Science Council, uh, I wish to offer an, an apology. Ah, uh, we well, made an error. We'll gracefully accept. Which error do you believe you've made? Oh, holding you here. That uh, was that was accidental. Interesting. Uh, I think well, the humans say uh, fell through the cracks, and she kind of looks at you questioningly. There must have been a quite many cracks then. It would seem. Um, so what is it I can do for you today? That is what we should be asking you as we were forced into your presence. Hmm. Yes. Well, I heard you were uh, contaminating a historical site. Again, at this point, let me offer an apology. We were unaware that that was an archaeological site when we came across it. Um, and during our exploration of what we thought was an un, un... What's the term? An unexcavated site with no personnel. We, we came across a couple of Romulans, which kind of... Um, well... Romulans? shocked us i can understand how that would shock you i find that disturbing you do of course romulans on vulcan so you didn't know they were there why would i know they were there commander they claimed they were there under your authorization 
and you believed them. Their paperwork was in order. Do you have said paperwork? In one of our tricorders, I assume you confiscated. She kind of pulls open a drawer and flips open a tricorder. Ah. It's a fake. No, I'm kidding. I knew it. I uh, <laughs> like. Well, I was a. Per- I had no way to authenticate it. She says, "Interesting. Obviously, it's a fake." He hands it back to you. Well, I wasn't going to get into a firefight in a cavern. I can understand that. It does bear uh, authenticity. It looks real. We scanned it. So she uh, she sends she sort of like hands you another pad. I read it, and as you look through it, uh, she she starts speaking, and you're flipping through, and you see a bunch of pictures of the cavern. Mm. It's completely empty. Hmm. This is very disturbing. She says, "Yes, that's what I thought." Um, as you can see, the cavern is empty. Uh, the one in question, um, including all the artifacts that we were told by our science teams that were down there and it shows before and after and you can see relics of old in one shot and then after you were there and they're gone and she says so i i'm i'm I'm, i must insist on asking what did you do with the relics we didn't do anything with the relics upon receiving your obviously fake um uh fake permit to be in there we instead of getting my crew into a disruptor fight as and destroying precious archaeological artifacts we we left and came here we were intercepted almost immediately after our arrival back in the hangar bay we wouldn't have had time to move anything or change anything Gorkong is wearing the backpack he, t- he traveled with. And I'm still wearing this fabulous shirt. Mm. Uh, may I see that backpack? I yelled, there are four lights. And then <laughs> <the backpack. laughs> That's all I'm going to say. There are four lights! <laughs> and then I give her the backpack. <laughs> Thank you, Gorkong. Uh, he may have hit I something. suppose that they are. Uh, apparently he's had an adverse reaction to Vulcan candy. Uh, our comrade also did not follow the hydration guide of uh, par- portion of the tour. You must drink water when you're on Vulcan. Do you have a replicator? <clears throat> I walk over and I go, two liters of water. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so she says, we, uh, we took the liberty of unfortunate circumstances require unfortunate measures. We searched your rented cabin. Hmm. Um, and, and, and if you wouldn't mind, uh, Commander, flipping to the next sort of uh, set of pictures, and you can see all the artifacts standing in your room. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is the correct reaction. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm sorry, Commander. It looks like they were in your quarters, uh, and your four access points are the only ones that have gone in or out of that room. This is absurd. How would we have done this? Plus, you can check our biosensor logs from the time we left the jeep to the as we entered the, our shuttle. There was no time for us to go back to our quarters. Uh, there this was has obviously a, been set up. There was a transport that happened from your runabout. Hmm. So you'll have to excuse me if I don't necessarily completely believe you. Hmm. Can, uh, this is just me not knowing, but can the transporter say, like, what size of matter it transported? They'd have to, like, really investigate, dig deep into what was, like, all they can tell was that an energy signature that looked like a transporter happened in that spot. They right. can't necessarily track where it went. Okay. So, but if if I was like, do you like look at our if we download our transport logs to you? Then they're going to show that two humanoids beamed out somewhere, and it'll show where they beamed to. So if you want to give away Beagle, right? Okay. Gotcha. Then that's what, and you would know that. Yeah. Right. I'm I'm going to chime up when I go. <clears throat> There's a lot more material in that room for one transportation than a small shuttle transporter. 
Though, and you must have video logs of the, the hangar bay of us driving in with no artifacts. She says the. Um, it's very small. She says, uh, um, um, well, and she taps a couple keys on her computer desk, and on the pad in front of you, it shows the hangar bay, and it shows you guys kind of peeling in around one corner, and it shows Beagle's smile. Mm. And then it shows going through the hangar bay, and the minute you pass into the doors, you see static. Huh. And then it shows up again, empty, next to the runabout. And driving back. And you standing outside the runabout, watch him. And, like, that is not quite... super casually either, right? <laughs> that is quite curious, considering we were not allowed to bring the jeep inside the hangar bay. I thought you had. No, nope. mm-hmm. you made we it were, turn around. Yeah, you had a guy stop us oh, yeah, before right. going to the hangar right, bay. Right, right, yeah. oh, sorry. That's okay, it still works. Yeah. <laughs> More holes in your fabrication! <laughs> it's a fake. <laughs> uh, Actually, life. that's a good point. Well, the person who uh, who stopped us would be able to corroborate that we one didn't take it, didn't couldn't get the jeep, which would have been full of these artifacts, past him or her. Two, wouldn't have carried anything with us except the backpack, which she now has. Get so, that guy. What do you? The person who told us to stop, the security guard who said we weren't allowed to bring the jeep in. Bring him here. Do you remember the security officer's name? Do you not have logs for your security rotation on I this do. entire planet? I do. Therefore, the logs will prove, based upon the timestamp of our entering, who was on duty at that point. Also, I go up to the pad and I go, I do a pinch zoom. You can see him. <laughs> <laughs> I, st- I stumble back to the, to the, um, um, Four liters of water. (laughs) Four liters of water, ice cold. Actually, it's brewing juice. The timing is all off anyway. There's no way that we could have had trucks and trucks with these artifacts and driven them in, loaded them into our shuttle, and then transported them into our rooms. Also, why would we transport them into our rooms where you clearly have access and we're going to find them? This is very clearly a setup. My mouth is just full of water. Yeah. Yeah. Could you grab me some tea? Yes. Coffee. Hot. <laughs> Sorry. Ractagino. Hot. Extra sweet. It's my kind of tea. Ractagino is basically coffee tea. It's clean and coffee. Clean coffee. It's super, super strong. Nice. Ooh. They keep pushing the button. She's feeling nervous because the story's full of holes. Her story's full of holes. You say that to these guys? No, no. I'm metaing that. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm just uh, trying to figure out what to do next. I do call you over when your tea's ready. Coffee. Ah, you know. Perfect. Excuse me. Absolutely. I walk over and I whisper to Gurkhan that. And then I walk back and I go I'm the only again. I, I pull I pull one of the glasses of water. <laughs> I put one of the glasses of water in front of her and I go. You should really hydrate. <laughs> and then I walk away. That looked fantastic. Totally. You probably couldn't see it. <laughs> I lean back and I, leave and, I, and I go back and I'm I'm still literally half cut. So <laughs> my my mind to my, your mind so fast. Um, Come then, in but so fast. That was amazing. And then I also go, I also go I go. I basically, at the, when I'm walking away, I go, wouldn't it have been, just been smarter for us to transport these artifacts, oh, I don't know, into space and then collect them when we leave? Why in a room? Oh, why <laughs> why? In a room? <laughs> All of this evidence is circumstantial. You have no real evidence. Do you, do you have any video of us actually doing anything other than driving recklessly through your deserts? <laughs> Uh, Which, by the way, is not against Vulcan law. I looked it up. <laughs> it is true. He did. <laughs> <laughs> she says. Uh, she says, yes, it is circumstantial. That is why I apologized when you first came in. 
So have you been issued an investigation into how those ended up in our room? We have, uh, and we found you other quarters. Hmm. These quarters do not have bars on the window. <laughs> I will simply settle for quarters that do not have magical appearing relics. Duh. I would prefer my shuttle. I'm afraid you can't, and as she says that, you you see her look down briefly. And then she looks up almost suspicious. You mean this shuttle? And she hits a couple buttons, and the window behind her fades from, like, the scene of, of the city on Vulcan mm. to, like, and it turns into a monitor. And you see your runabout kind of, like, just kind of, like, rip out of... Uh, out of the dock and just almost like before it's even safe goes into warp and you can see the clouds kind of like get sucked into the warp trail like it's just like the totally unsafe warp jump and uh, she looks back at you and says yes? your security is horrendous our shuttle's been stolen and all those priceless relics that were on board uh, there were no relics on our ship my bet left oh okay the Klingon relics but, so yes, that who stole our shuttle? <laughs> so I'm saying this. How could you let this happen? I thought you had four security guys, us for two hours, and now you let ours. Oh, I'm filing many complaints. Might I request a change in your security protocols, in which you put some in place, and a starship to come pick us up? She says, ah, yes, the Federation ambassador did request one. We have sent a request. The Algernon, uh, the Agamemnon is on its way. This is unacceptable. And I go, like, full, like, mode, stand up and stomp away from the Commander, chair. please calm down or I'll have to call security. Again? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> were they the security that were watching our shuttle? Yeah. Uh... It will depend on how quickly they respond. If they respond quite quickly, we can assume they were guarding our shuttle a few blocks away. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That was so alone. I would like to put in a formal request for return of all Federation property. Oh wait, I can't. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> then I put th- five empty glasses on her table. Because <laughs> I didn't return to the replicator. We want to help you with this investigation. We want to get to the bottom of this. Our shuttle's been stolen, your artifacts have been misplaced, and apparently there are Romulans doing things that you don't know about on your planet. (sighs) Calm down a little bit. (laughs) It's been a long day and I'm supposed to be on vacation. We would like to work with you on solving this problem. I appreciate that. Do you have you appointed a security chief or some form of investigator? Investigatorial. That's a hard word. Uh, it is, Captain. It is, it is Captain. <laughs> lead for this situation? So do they. Uh, yes, I do. Um, I'll have them report to your new quarters this evening. Well, later this evening. It's already like sunset. And... <sighs> Very well. And I. Do we have our equipment back? She yeah. hands you back the backpack full of rent. Junk. <laughs> yeah, it's not. There's a lot of there's a lot of power couplings in there. Yeah, she hands like you back the she cost. hands you back the stuff, and like uh, your tricorder is not the phaser. Uh, and she says, um, "So you're aware you will be in monitored rooms. You are free to come and go, but your actions will be watched." Yeah, apparently, our previous rooms were watched as well. I can't speak to that. Do we get my dagger back? When do I get my weapon back? I've Once we've discussed with Starfleet what to do next. Hmm. This is a unique situation, you understand. Yes. Very good. And she kind of like points towards the elevator and the elevator doors open. The turbo lift doors open. I leave. Okay. I'm done here. As the door closes, as the door closes, she's like, oh, and don't leave the city. Thanks. <laughs> Ew, your shuttle's yeah. gone. Mm-hmm. Huh. Rent the jeep. Uh, so on your tricorder, there's like this uh, spot that's blinking that 
shouldn't be. It's in one of like the theta bands that uh, they're sending, sending like, information. It looks like it's receiving something. Oh, okay. I will open it up. Okay, so you try and open it, and it's like his kind of science. I think this is for you. So what you see is you see a message that looks like it's piggybacked along uh, background radiation that exists in the city in, like, we're going to call it Federation Standard Morse Code. All right. I'm going to mentally and translate it. You watch it, and it basically translates uh, Eagle to Commander. Uh, have idea to get shuttle out, or get runabout out. We'll report back as soon as can. Um, we're not followed. Sorry for stealing the shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that boy. Are these separate transmissions? It's all in, like, it's a law. Yeah, they're separate. Because I'm assuming, like, the first one is like, he has an idea to get the shuttle. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't hear back from you. I did the thing. <laughs> That's exactly what it was, yeah. With this, my beagle has taken initiative face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> beagle stole the shuttle. Will he blow up? No. No, he was on that shuttle. I bet you. Hopefully not the hangar doors. Recommend not speaking about this out loud, being that we are monitored. No, agreed. I wave at the camera and the turbo. <laughs> I flip it off. We also had our tricorders for quite a while. Mm-hmm. Nice. Hand it back to the beagle. Understood. Um, this wouldn't have been something that would have been seen. It was one of those things that, like, you all have a tricorder that's like a personal item, mm -hmm. so you all have it set to specific settings. Yeah. I, I think that Vario was just more along the lines of they could have put something on or right. in the okay. tricorder. Yeah. And yes, very, very possible. Yeah. But he translated it in his mind rather than translating yeah. it yeah. by the machine. Absolutely. Himself. Yep. <laughs> Beagle. Understood. Yeah, that was At great. this point, I really don't need to say more. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah. We all guessed what happened as soon as we saw that footage. <laughs> the second it took off, I'm like... I, I will just say, after you say understood, I'll just be like, on the upside, Captain, your ready room is nowhere near here. <laughs> I actually will laugh at that. <laughs> That's in character. Just <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> well, it might be time for a drink. It's been a long day. We are technically still on vacation. You said you found a bar earlier, right? I did. All right. The well, candies are quite intoxicating as well, Captain. No, no more candy for you. Mm. They have blood wine, I'll be happy. Mm. I'll need to calm down. It's Starfleet Bar, probably. Do you yeah. head to the bar? Yeah. It's hopping. Nice. Um, like loud. Yeah, yeah. And and you can see a uh, like a let's say guard detail mm. following you guys. From a good distance. Like, they're obviously trying to make it look like they're not following you, yeah. but they're, they're following us. Yeah. <laughs> we just walk into the bar, I just wince. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, um, you see your captain friend. The, um, Orion? Mm. Mm. Do you remember her name? No, I don't. <laughs> it's been years. It's technically. It's been in years? Game. In game, yeah. It's been a year. A year? Well, first ship was six months downtime. That's right. Then we had six months downtime after that. Uh, uh, and now it's been a few months downtime with the new ship. It's she also... Over a year. I think it started with a year. Valerian. You're as bad as I am. Hey. So, gonna... fact, you have a new position on the ship. Remember people's names. Oh. Like a steel trap, that man. She looks at you and she says, Oh, well... Isn't that a coincidence? Oh, funny morning. Isn't I was it? just thinking of you the other day. Aww. She leans in. <laughs> I lean over. I'm, Sorry, uh, I'm Commander Zanny. I'm. I'm. Oh, the who, boss. Yeah. Who? Who? Who are oh, you? Oh, oh, hi. Uh, and you see an Orion woman. Uh huh. Uh, dressed like in. You sort guys of... actually all met her because she you was did. running the like underground ring on the starship. I or on the starbase. I was working on a bunch of I actually of don't think they did. I, I didn't. Oh, okay. I think you okay. were the go-between. Oh, okay. Because yeah, yeah. also when she, 
uh, when we were on the planet and she was in orbit of, with the station, like uh, I was the one that talked her down. He was the one that talked I, her down because so we know. Yeah. So, anyways, and Vulcan's not. Oh, I'm Baya. I'm friends with Yazakov. Yes, Cog. You never said you were friends with an Orion. I, I, you know, she kind of puts her arm around your shoulder. Yeah, oh, don't be shy. I'm friendly. Oh, am I here? I, make yeah. friends. I go, Baya, I remember that name. Ah, I very rarely forget a friend. Broken, how you doing? I, I give her, I give her a firm handshake, and I go, What? No headbutt for old times' sake? I'm very, very hungover. Oh, you ate the candies, didn't you? God, Vulcans First never tell the Klingons Vulcan. that. And then I, right? I walk up to the They bar. don't get many Klingon visitors, though, so. That's they fair. They do tell them to take them in moderation. This is Sofek. He's ah, part of the command the, crew. Uh, the, the science Vulcan. Yeah, yeah, I heard about you. You sound like a fun time. <laughs> He's a hoot. But, you know, we'd hate to tramp on a good time. She gives, uh, you, she gives both of you, like, a big smile as she says that. We'd hate to trounce on a good time with, uh, yes, girl, feel free to catch up, you know, we'll just, uh, wingman out. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of in the middle of something, sir. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, what's, what's going on? I'm at the bar ordering glasses of ice and wine. All right. <laughs> Vulcans do not hoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you can hoot your way over here. Bit. We'll get some drinks. We'll be back. Wink. <laughs> I didn't you just say wink. I say <laughs> wink. You're the worst wingman. He's really <laughs> awkward, isn't he? he is that was very, fun. We need to do that more often. I, you know, just make him as uncomfortable as possible. I mean, I'm good with that. Yeah. yeah. But so what are you good. doing here? Uh, vacation. We get them every so often. I thought you Starfleet types never take uh-huh. vacation. Well, they talk me into it. Yeah, yeah. Can't Twist your rubber arm, right? <laughs> Can't pass up an opportunity for Vulcan. I mean, it is one of the highest listed places of places to go within the Federation. I hear that, yes. <laughs> the nightlife here is a little lacking. That's why I like this bar. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I guess... So, just, what, you're literally just here to, like, look at the museums? Uh, you know, well, you know me. I went to the uh, military school. And yeah, yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Saw that. And we went on a dune trip and drove around. The oh, cool, cool. Here. Yeah, what'd you find? Not much. Same. The, the captain just really liked driving things. Uh, I need a... Uh, oh, jeez. Let's this. go so presence and command. Okay. Uh, zero success. Zero. Zero successes? Zero uh, okay, I'm going to use my determination with the value of... Sorry. We're um, on vacation. Are, are you supposed hey. to use a value? You can use the value or the directives that we're given. Oh, the okay. Beginning. Yeah, I'll just use we're on vacation. Okay. So I can re-roll both? Or just one? I think I can it's both. the entire roll. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or as many as you want. Uh, no, there you go. Two successes. Two successes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to use the focus interrogation investigator to try to, like, make my answers seem really believable. Three, if, is, is that okay? Oh, okay, okay. So it gives um, you the focus. So I use the so focus three so successes. I get three successes. Uh, while this is happening, I walk by and I go, Pawn Fars upon you, and I leave. <laughs> if I'm lucky. <laughs> she winks at both of you as you walk by. Uh, okay, uh, she's going to make a... Insight and command. Eight and fifteen. I'm going to guess that's not three successes. She's gonna burn. Oh god. That's a sixteen. Okay, so she kinda lucks in you and she's like, Oh yeah, okay. That sounds dunes. I mean there are a lot of them. Really, you just went basically went for a joyride. Yes. Yeah, those those buggies can go, hey. Yes, yes. Yeah. I mostly just went to make sure the captain didn't hurt himself. I mean, with the thing around the desert. Yeah. Do I hear this story? Men, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Just got to prove something. Did I hear that? Always. I don't understand. <laughs> Your ears are burning. But the music's really. Yeah. Loud. No, you don't hear anything yet. <laughs> do I sense them? You do. You totally sense. <laughs> You totally right. see. You totally see both of them kind of like look over at you, then look back at each other, and then be- belly laugh. Like, 
I give him a sour look and take my drink over the bar. Oh, no, as, as you do, she kind of like... Hey! Yeah. Benazine. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> You'll get over it. So, uh, do you have some time? Like... Um... Yeah. Are you on? Are you on like a schedule to see another Dune or something tomorrow? <laughs> or? Uh, no, but we do have to report back for some science thing. Apparently, um, the science council wants to talk to us while we're here. Oh God, I heard they're so dry. Yes, I mostly just zone out. Really, it was for Sophic. I mean, if I didn't have work with them, I would too. Oh yeah, is that why you're here? Yeah, yeah, we picked up a job. Basic delivery. No, yeah, sounds pretty good. I'm not, I'm not, not stressed about it at all. Yeah, easy stuff to do. Yeah, this yeah. I mean, it was a nice break from the Shackleton. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. It's a little bit dry. Klingony <laughs> over there lately. Ah, uh, yes, yes. They can be, they can be interesting though. It keeps things lively. Well, have you not heard? No, unless I have, and I've just forgotten as a player. Uh, no. No, I haven't heard. What, what's going on? Oh. Oh, I figured you Federation types would have known, like, right away. The expense. Oh, no, the Klingons. What happened? And she kind of, like, whips out a pad, and she yeah. scrolls through a couple things, and she goes, here, look. And you see a news feed uh, from the Starfleet News, uh, or for the you know, Federation News yeah. News Service, and it shows uh, Gowron. <clears throat> on screen, uh, ending the uh, treaty between the Federation and the, uh, Klingon, the, Empire? the Klingon Empire. The 75 year tra treaty between the Federation and Klingon oh, Empire. Wow. How did this happen? Oh, I, something about the Dominion on the other side of the. I don't know. They're on the other. It's big mess. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like we're losing an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe don't tell him for a while. No, please. <laughs> don't worry. I won't. I'm posted. Ice wine's not agreeing with me. <laughs> Dude, I keep telling you, it's too much sugar for you. That's the problem. It's all these sugary fruit fruit drinks. I... So I go back and I go, I hear this thing called a Bloody Mary. Maybe I'll try one of those. <laughs> Sounds weird up my alley. Yeah. This Make Andorian, it's an Andorian bartender. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, and he just kind of looks at you. He's like, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, he's I'm, very, he's like, he's like, He's got like uh, his haircut's done like he's got like the full James Dean. Nice. Yeah, like and he's been wearing like kind of like a future leather jacket, right? Uh, like he's got that like full look. Yeah. Um, so how did you pick up job with Science Council? Eh, they were offering. I was bored. <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah, fair. Pay well. I mean, yeah, it's paying pretty good. Nice. Yeah. Like, what are they gonna be transporting? Oh, I don't know, some sort of artifacts or something like that. Who knows? It's the science council. It's probably going to just be, be like cases filled with dust, right? Bones. Cellular okay. like <laughs> byproduct. Who knows? It's yeah. Vulcans. Yeah, Another round. They make science out of anything. <laughs> 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 Bartender, I guess, hands it to me and I hand it to you, and I go, Pong, Pong. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, do you transport off planet? Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's wrong. They don't usually take artifacts off planet. Oh, I don't know. Like I said, I have no idea what they're. they're it's. It, she kind of gives you the manifest, and it's literally listed like just like, I don't know, random Star Trek thing A, random yeah. Star Trek thing B. Does it say where Star it's Trek going? Uh, no. Where are you taking this? Oh, oh, I, I'm not allowed to. Fair, yeah, I you know, yeah. professional no, courtesy. No come around. On. <laughs> no, yeah. no. She says that, and she goes, another round. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep talking to her. I want to get her to a point where she's super drunk. Okay, so uh, you both mm. get super drunk. Great. And the scene will end with her leading you out of the bar by your hand. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm all right with this. I yell and... on far at the top of my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> I so push him off the stool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Falls right yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, I, I, just just my... I look over my shoulder and go, What are I you even... doing this whole time? <laughs> I'm just like sitting in the corner wincing with a glass of water. 
had we decided if the the nanites were actually affecting you or like not the nanites but the lack of control did we actually agree that it was going to be a, a potential like threat to your mental stability to hold emotion quick for those who don't know he was in uh during our bard fight he got infected with uh non-active or nano broken they were broken they're broken yeah anyway uh, I don't think we did. We didn't really get to that point where I started meditating to bring everything. So do we want to give that a? Are you good with that? Do you trust me? Yeah. Okay. Give me a d20 roll. If you roll a 17, 18, or 19, then you're gonna lose control. What about 20? <laughs> and he 20, explodes. Yeah. You're up. <laughs> 12. Okay. So you you managed to keep your you keep your cool. Um, and we're actually gonna end tonight with you walking out of the bar. Okay. So I will give you information that you can share next game. Okay. okay. Quietly. Well, with you can a share glass with of water these guys. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. A couple of that yeah. Bill. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, we hope you. you enjoyed it. Uh, we had a great time. We always have a great time. Uh, we're back on the thirty-first. No, no, April something. April seventh. Thank you. Nailed it. Wow. Well done. I can't actually see that. Okay, we're back on April seventh. That's because that's um, March. Oh yeah. Right. What was the name of the things. Vulcan that helped us? We have things to give away. Yeah, Where we have it? we have minis to give away. So if you can email uh, email me at the gmtim dot uh, at the gmtim, jeez, gmtim at gmail dot com. That's really lots of things to say. There's a lot of G's in that. A lot of, in that. Lot of G's, a yeah. So email me at the gmtim at gmail dot com <clears throat> and tell us who the Vulcan friend uh, was that helped them out. Uh, and win some Star Trek minis. Uh, we actually have some Star Trek minis, and we want to give them away. Uh, they are fun, and yeah. In the meantime, we will see you in two weeks. Uh, I'm on all social medias at the GM Tim. Anything you guys want to brag about? Pond far. Pond far. Pond far. Pond far. And that's a no. Bye, right. Bye everyone. Bye bye.